Hallo and herzlich willkommen, or welcome, back um, your friendly neighborhood angry German guy. Tonight we're playing Judith, what is somewhat um, a very pixelish horror game. Not sure if it's really a horror game. But we'll find out. It starts off with really new piano music. <laughs> And it's called Judith, as you can read. I'm meeting Emily today. We can't meet very often. We're both married, but not to each other. So when we do get to see each other, we try to make it special. You know what I'm talking about. It's been four months since we last met. So I'm obviously running around in some kind of maze. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay. Um, oh, this appears to be Emily. Jeff! Emily, you look beautiful. It consists of 16 pixels. <laughs> I've missed you so much. I kept thinking about the last time we met when I gave you that necklace. Oh, my husband was a little suspicious about it. I told him that I bought it for myself as a treat. I hate that we have... Oh, I hate, <laughs> I hate that we have to be so secretive. I know, me too. It's better for everyone this way, though. Shall we go inside? And she runs off. And the music is very neat, but there's not much music at all. So this appears to be a house. Are you sure this place is private enough? Oh, I think so. According to the company I rented it from, it's been abandoned for years. The locals are really superstitious about it. Ah, oh, how exciting! I don't know if I'm gonna re read on with that female voice. Let's have a look around. Okay, she ran left. I had big trouble starting record this because Fraps won't recognize it. Ah, uh, maybe she's here. Emily? Oh. She must be in the other room. So maybe she's here. Emily? That's strange. She doesn't seem to be in here either. Examine that. Emily, are you there? And everything turns black and now something happens. We are obviously Or maybe in the past. That's what I found out for now. I had the strangest dream last night. I'm a woman again, as you can hear. Mm. It was of a man sitting with a piece of jewelry in his hand. He seemed so sad. What happened after that? I can't remember. And now the clock is ticking and it wasn't before. See if we can go outside. As I t looks like this door is locked. As I told you, uh, I think we're in the past now. So everything looks same but different. One of these books looks oddly out of place. Move the book. What will happen? Oh, what is this? All these doors are still locked yet. I don't believe it. My husband keeps a treasury back here. He's such a secret secretive man. <laughs> Look at all this gold. Yeah. Wait, is this... Is this blood? That, ne that lace look necklace <laughs> looks very pretty. I don't suppose my husband will mind if I take it, huh? He probably won't even notice that it's missing. Take the necklace. No. No, I should probably leave it. Because I'm a good girl. This happens automatic. My husband have this part of the castle hidden away for a reason. I probably shouldn't even tell him I was here. And everything fades out again and we're looking for Emily. Oh no, wait. What did, you do, did you, what did you do today, Judith? Oh, I was just mending some clothes, mostly. You shouldn't trouble yourself with such tasks. That's what the servants are for. Yes, you're right. 
I'm still adjusting to life in the castle. Oh, my sweet. Rest yourself tonight. These things take time. You're right, my love. Good night. And they fall asleep. And here we are again looking for Emily. Oh, the bed's empty. That's strange. I saw Emily come down here. I wonder where she's gone. Ah, <laughs> there's the door. Okay. Um, let's open the door again. Seems to contain books on military history. This looks like a fiction section. I see a number of fairy tale collections. There's one book that seems out of place though. A heavy leather bound book called Civil War. Take the book. Yes. Seems to contain books on military history. Could be the right place for the book I found. Put the book on the shelf. Yes. Ah, a secret passage. I wonder if Emily found this and wandered in. Oh, this is empty now. It looks ugly. This necklace. This, this belongs to Emily. Where is she? And fade again. I had another terrible I had another terrible dream last night. Of what? I dreamed of the same man. He feared his wife dead. It's just a dream. Don't let it upset you. And here we go in the past again. And there's strange noises in the background. I wonder what else has my husband hidden back there. This is creepy as fuck, isn't it? Wasn't this door locked yesterday? What? What is this? I think I'm gonna be sick. Who, who are you? P please. Please help me. What are you doing here? I've been... A prisoner of fear for four years now. I don't understand why. Please, just kill me. What? No, I can't do that. Please, I can't bear any more of this. I can't believe my husband would do this. If you don't end my suffering, I'll tell him you found me. What will he do to you when he finds out where you've been? Maybe he'll end up here like me, begging his next wife for mercy. No! This is terrible. We better get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. I don't know where to go. Oh, he's screaming for help. And this happens automatically. I don't believe it. That poor man, his legs broken, practically starved to death. My husband's just keeping me, barely keeping him alive. You'll never be able to leave that dungeon. My husband has so many terrible secrets. Oh yeah, money's so terrible. <laughs> I must know them all if I am to love him. Oh, that's the true loving wife. What did you do today, Judith? I received a letter from my sister. How is she? Happy in all things. As are we. I hope you have a pleasant day tomorrow. Yes. Good night. And here we are. In the present time again. This door wasn't unlocked earlier. Emily? Whose blood is this? Where are you, Emily? I had that dream again with a man who lost his wife. He was weeping tears of blood. Someday I hope you will wake up happy by my side. So now we're apparently Judith again and we're walking around and having another look at the secret 
Shit. Shit. It looks like an armory, but these weapons are all drenched in blood. What sort of man must my husband be? Let us take the dagger and kill the prisoner. Because otherwise the story won't continue, will it? <laughs> I, I can't stop thinking about the poor prisoner. Has he really been there for four long years? Death would be a release for him. I'm... I'm a freehand gamer. Oh, it's uh, you again. I've made a decision. I'm gonna help you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, goosebumps. I hope I've done the right thing. I've done the right thing, of course. You can hear as the piano music in the background gets more and more dissonant. There. I think it's the best way to put the dagger back where it belongs. And close the bookshelf. And go to bed, or maybe just fade out. What did you do today, Judith? I, I read in the drawing room. The weather was clement. I hope it's good tomorrow as well. Good night, my dear. Good night. And Judith just gets colder and colder. But I haven't said this word. Looks like this used to be the armory. Emily's not in here either. I'm sure she must be around here somewhere. It's a dagger with blood on it. Emily, what's become of you? I hope... I hope you're still alive. My dear, sweetest Emily. Did you dream again, my dear? Yes, but I can barely remember it. What happened? I think... I think he was digging a grave for her. You have such dark dreams. Oh, well, do you think so? You have such dark secrets, asshole. But... I know I shouldn't be going back here, but I need to know what kind of man I'm married to. I need to know. Oh, it's a guard. What a nice guard. Bury prisoner, prisoner with shovel. I can't leave the prisoner's body lying on the floor. It's not right. He, he needs to be put to rest. Yeah, well, put back the fucking dagger and everything. Just he doesn't recognize. And then just put the take the prisoner and bury him in the garden. It's okay. Oh, she's walking all by herself right now. Um... Added one prisoner to your inventory. <laughs> okay, now we can dig a grave. Now that's fast. And we can put the poor guy in there. Rest in peace. What a nice garden it is, isn't it? And we close the secret passage again. Um... Oh, this game, um, this game seems to be pretty, uh, I don't know, it's, it's really tense. Even though it's easy, it's just pixels and stuff, but it's tense, I have to say. What did you do today, Judith? Oh, I picked some flowers in the front garden. It's beautiful this time of year. I remember the first time I brought you to the castle. Yes, I remember too. The violets were in bloom. Darling, I was wondering... What is it? Never mind, it's nothing. Good night, my dear. I peed in your shoes. <laughs> and we're... 
the guy again. I've totally forgotten about his name. We're just the guy, I guess. A garden. There's nobody here either. It looks like there might be something buried here. I think you know what we have to do. This shovel. There's only one way to know for sure if it's her. Dig. There's a skeleton here. He's long dead. Wait. I think the, I see something amongst the bones. Let's disturb the body. It's just pixels. It's a key! I wonder what this poor man, why this poor man was buried here in an unmarked grave. Yeah, me too. And this key apparently opens this door. The key fits. I dreamed of him again. He took his own life. I dream of such a weak man, my wife. Do you think me so weak? So, um, at this point, I want to cut it, and we're gonna see what happens next in the next episode. So, see ya!